Hi everyone, it's Professor Pemberton. In this video we're going to look at curve sketching and what does the first derivative tell us about the original function f of x. So there are many applications in calculus that depend on our ability to gain information from the first and second derivatives that will tell us information about f of x. So there's a few things that we need to review first. Remember that f prime represents the slope of the curve or slope of the tangent line to the graph y equals f of x at the point x comma f of x. So in this section we're going to look at how do you locate local extrema, so local max and local minimum for the original function from the graph of the derivative. How do you determine intervals of increasing and decreasing for the original function from the first derivative? How do you gain information about the concavity, concave up and concave down, for the original function from the second derivative? And then, once you have information about the increasing and decreasing intervals, concavity, how do you provide a sketch? How do you make a sketch of the function using the first and second derivatives only? So you may not be given the functions formula, but you may be given information about the first and second derivatives. So let's start with what does the first derivative tell us about f of x? So in this graph that's below, we have the graph of f of x. So y equals f of x is this graph. What information can we gain from the first derivative that will tell us about the graph of y equals f of x? It will tell us about where does the graph increase and decrease from left to right? So let's just look at the graph for now. Notice that between the points a and b, f of x is increasing. The graph is rising from the left to right. And also between the points c and d, f of x is increasing. But between points b and c, the function is decreasing. Okay, so now let's use the first derivative to gain information about whether the graph is increasing or decreasing. So between points A and B, notice that the tangent line is positive. It has a positive slope. So between points A and B, and also between points C and D, notice that these tangent lines have a positive slope. That means the sign of the derivative is positive on these two intervals. So f prime of x for all those x values is positive and also here. The derivative is positive for all the x values between c and d. However, the derivative is negative between b and c because the slopes of the tangent line are negative. So if the derivative is positive, your original function, f of x, is increasing on that interval. However, between points b and c, if the tangent line has a negative slope, that means the derivative is negative and your original function is decreasing. So one thing we can also say about um, these intervals is that if the derivative is positive, that means the slope of the tangent line is positive. or just positive slope. If you're between B and C, then the tangent line slope is negative. And then vice versa between C and D. Again, the derivative is positive, and that means the tangent line slopes are positive again. So knowing the sign of the derivative, the first derivative, can tell us whether the function is increasing or decreasing. So this is the definition of increase and decreasing using the first derivative. If f prime is positive on an interval, that means the function f of x is increasing on that interval. If the derivative is negative, then the original function is decreasing on that interval. This point b is a local maximum or local max for short. It's where the graph changes from increasing to decreasing. And vice versa, notice that this point C 
is at the bottom of this valley, so it's a local minimum, or local min for short, it's where the graph changes from decreasing to increasing. So a local maximum is called a local extrema, a local extreme value. It occurs at the point B because that's where the slope of the tangent line changes from positive to negative. And on the other hand, the function had a local minimum at the point C because the point C is where the slope of the tangent line changed from negative to positive. So information about the first derivative can tell us whether it might be a local max, a local minimum, and increase and a decrease in intervals. The second derivative, what can it tell us about the original function f of x? So again, we're going to look at the sign of the second derivative, which is f double prime of x. How does this affect the appearance of the graph? Well, remember that f prime prime or f double prime is the derivative of the first derivative. If the second derivative is positive, that means that the derivative is increasing. So what does this mean for in terms of the graph? The slopes of the tangent lines of the original function are increasing. So if the derivative is increasing, then your slopes of the tangent lines are also increasing from left to right. So let's look at the graph. This is the function y equals f of x, the original function. Notice that the graph is bending up. So this is called a concave up graph on this interval. So a couple things about concave up. That means the second derivative is positive, which means the first derivative is increasing. Not the original function is increasing, the derivative is increasing if your second derivative is positive. And that means the slopes of the tangent lines are increasing from left to right. And you can notice this from the graph. At this point, the slope of the tangent line is negative. At this point, further to the right, the slope of the tangent line is positive. And then this point, the slope is even greater. So it looks like the slopes are increasing from left to right. So that means the graph is concave up. So in terms of a graph, if the graph bends up, that means the function is concave up. It'll look like a cup shape. On the other hand, if the derivative, second derivative is negative, that means the derivative is decreasing on that interval. And in terms of the derivative, that means the slopes of the tangent lines are decreasing from left to right. And what does this mean for the original function? The graph will bend down, and so this is called concave down. So in terms of this graph, this is the original function again. Notice that the graph is bending down as you go from left to right. So this is called a concave down graph. Your second derivative is negative on this interval. And that means that the first derivative is decreasing. And we know the first derivative tells us the slope of the tangent line is decreasing from left to right. And you can tell that from the graph. The graph had a positive slope, a lesser positive slope, and then eventually a negative slope. So the slopes are decreasing of the tangent lines from left to right. So this gives us the definition of concavity, concave up and concave down, using the sign of the second derivative. If the second derivative is positive, the original function is concave up. If the second derivative is negative, then the original function is concave down on those same intervals. And now any point on the graph where the concavity changes from up to down or down to up, these are called inflection points on your graph. So in the example, we're going to do what's called curve sketching. We're going to use information from the first and second derivatives to provide a possible sketch of the original function using the first and second derivatives. 
So notice that f prime of x is positive is given to us from negative infinity to 1. This means that the original function is increasing. If it's information about the first derivative, it's increasing or decreasing, and it's, the derivative is positive means the original function is increasing on negative infinity to 1. So that's that information. Next, let's do f prime of x is negative on 1 to infinity. So that means f of x is decreasing from 1 to infinity. Okay, let's talk about the second derivative. Second derivative is positive from negative infinity to negative 2 and 2 to infinity. That means the second derivative is positive, tells us the first derivative is increasing, or the original function is concave up on this same interval. If the second derivative is negative from negative 2 to 2, that tells us the original function is concave down. From negative 2 to 2. Okay, so this is information from the first and second derivatives. We know where the function is increasing, decreasing, where it's concave up and concave down. Now we have these pieces of information about the limit. So the limit as x approaches negative infinity of f of x is equal to negative 2. This tells us that y equals negative 2 is a horizontal asymptote. as x approaches negative infinity. And on the other hand, the limit as x approaches positive infinity is 0. That indicates that y equals 0 is a horizontal asymptote. As x approaches positive infinity. Okay, so we have horizontal asymptotes in either direction for x, and we also have increase and decreasing concave up and concave down. Let's provide a possible sketch of the graph. Keep in mind that this is a sketch of the graph. It does not need to be perfect. We're just going to indicate the features of the function f of x. Where does the graph increase and decrease, and where is the graph concave up and concave down? Okay, let's start from left to right. The graph is increasing from negative infinity to 1, and then you're also concave up on negative infinity to negative 2. So the graph is going to be increasing and concave up. Let's indicate the horizontal asymptotes. That might give us some indication where the graph should start. So this is a horizontal asymptote, y equals negative 2. And the x-axis is y equals 0, and that is a horizontal asymptote as, y, as x goes to infinity. And that's it. That's all we have for information we can sketch right now. So the graph is increasing and concave up. That means the graph will do something like this. The graph will start at the horizontal asymptote as you go to the left. The graph will be bending up because it's concave up until you get to positive 1. So the graph will bend up, but it'll stop bending up when you get to x equals negative 2. So you'll have an, a point of inflection when the concavity changes at x equals negative 2. So let's say here's x equals negative 2, and this looks like it's concave up, it's bending up. But then at x equals negative 2, it starts to bend down but the graph is still increasing until you get to x equals 1. Okay, so there's the first part of the graph. Let's say this was x equals negative 2, and this was x equals positive 1. So now, on the right side of x equals 1, the graph is decreasing 
but still concave up until you get to x equals, or it's concave down until you get to x equals 2. So it's decreasing and concave down until x equals 2. So it's going to look like that. So it's bending down still, but it's de the function is decreasing until you get to 2. And then the graph changes concavity to be bending up on 2 to infinity, but the graph is still decreasing. So notice that we have a horizontal asymptote as we go to the right. The graph will start to bend up again at x equals 2, but the graph is still decreasing as you go to the right. So there is a local maximum at x equals 1. We also have a point of inflection or inflection point at x equals negative 2. We don't know the y values because we don't have any information about the function f of x. And then also at x equals 2, this was also an inflection point. That's where the concavity changed again. So this is one possible sketch for your function y equals f of x. And this is called curve sketching, where you use nothing but the first and second derivatives. So this gives you an idea of how to use the first and second derivatives to provide a sketch of the graph, where the graph is increasing, decreasing, concave up and concave down. If you have any questions about curve sketching, please let me know. Or if you have any questions while you work on the homework, please let me know that as well. And I'll see you at the next video.